I feel like the moment you commit and you're blinking on a sniper, you're just gonna get completely destroyed by heroes like Sven. One person who I think wouldn't need the regen. Oh, Yaps over here. I think he might be first blood. It's a nice impale, but Puppy actually blocking him with his own tree hand. They need one more right click, and Era is able to get the first blood here. Puppy probably gonna be able to TP it safely. There is no storm hammer. The cooldown just slightly too long. But there is a few things they could be waiting for. Uh, one is obviously gonna be the Legion blink, but there is also a Sven BKB coming up. Oh, uh, they have the vision over the Medusa. Medusa gets stunned. And I think this will sign the Dominator creep. But the finger of death and the Prophet Ultimate is once again enough to take down this Legion Commander. They have managed to fight Zai, but Zai has the ultimate if he wants it. And they've managed to get the Raiding Career. They have the ultimate from the Cypher, but it's not going to affect Zai when he gets into that Rolling Thunder. So one bounty going either way, but then Prophet does Prophet things and secures another two. So right now, Secret is leading. Radiance middle yeah. And and Yatsor, I know you said you really wanted to see that Agonim first, but it looks like he is Radiance. building a more helpful item in the four star. Frost going in, they have the black hole, but the silence just in time. He actually cast the black hole, but the ultimate from the sniper, they still able to net the kill over on the mid one. I I've never seen that before, where the silence is traveling in the air, the black hole cast. So they could try to go for a Roche fight if this Legion is up in time, because Roche does drop really, really quickly. Look at this. Yeah, in terms of this poor man in a pit, he doesn't stand a chance. They do have the scan onto the high ground. Frosty blinks in, has it. It's the black hole. It's only onto one. It's really not quite enough damage to take down this Drought Ranger. Now they have the Lotus Orb on top of Nietzsche. There's the stun. Yeah, so they are kept in place by the Cold Embrace. It's a nice stuff by mid one on top of both of them. And he just gets the Aegis just in time before he goes down. So Nietzsche, they managed to take down the Enigma. There's no black hole here. Nisha able to survive through this and die. He's pursuing Era to the high ground. They're looking for more puppy TP's in. They have the vision on top of Chessie. They have the silent side. They need a tiny bit more jump. He's silenced here over the side, but he's just doing so much work. Zibay on top of mid one, and he's going to go down. The Winter's Curse. It means that he, he, they're attacking their own heroes. Yamstor with the finger of death. It's not quite enough. Era with the cold embrace over on his bed. He's going to live for a tiny bit longer. And now Nisha, he's trying to kill off Chessie, but he's losing all his mana. The ultimate across the Lickers, it doesn't matter. He's sitting here in the shrapnel. He's put Dragon Nisha. He's dead once again. Died. He might have overextended. He's the only one left from his team. And Chessie just so much damage plus the spin to boss. Chessie dominating in this fight. TFT is so strong right now. It was super unfortunate for Sive. Storm Hammer, so he's going to be able to walk back to the high ground. And with another Cleat Wave cleared through, they're just going to have to wait, rinse, repeat. <laughs> this is what we talked about. But they can do this. They can get away with this slow siege. If Sniper gets sneaked one more time, though, he's gonna lose all of his money. Oh, they have the jewel! They broke the Lincoln Spit with the ultimate there from Chesty Nisha. He's been able to get his stone gates off, and now they're all trying to retreat. A good finger of death allows him to take down the Winter Wyvern before the Winter's Curse gets off. And now the Agent is running. Hanskin, he's looking for a big black hole, but it's on no one. He loses it instantaneously as well. Zibay, they are able to get the kill over on site. It looks like Puppy might go down once again. Frost, he's lost the Agent and he's lost his life once again. Now, a big black hole over by Hanskin, but the disarm over Chessie, the Purge doesn't really matter, and they're all living through it. The finger of death, it does so much. Nisha, he's very low, but he's still surviving through this. The sniper does kill him on the back of the now mid one is going to go down. They do have buybacks on absolutely everyone, and Chessie, an ultra kill. Will he be able to get the rampage if he sees anyone else? So, it, yeah. it makes some sense, but at the same time, you're playing against a Prophet, and you're playing against the Dusa, so, I don't know. Frost, he has been found by Nisha, they have the roll from Zai, but Chessy on the back line, he's just hitting into Zai, needs to be careful about focusing while he has his flame mail turned on. They have the Winter's Curse, but it's only on to Zibay, there's no one hitting into Frost, pops his BKB. Nisha, they go, they get the black hole as well as the jewel. Are they going to be able to kill this prophet? The stun, it does cancel the first jewel, but now it's a stun. There's no mana left over here. On top of paper, mid one doing so much damage. They have the sign, but the second black hole is on them to them, but it's cancelled once again by Zyber. Are they going to lose Nisha? Yes, they are. The finger of death, it doesn't kill this leading card. They're affected by the Grim Cape, and he is going to survive. Mid one over here on the bottom line. They've already bought back on the Medusa. And now the side of the final tribe, they want to retreat without losing anyone. And it looks like that is going to be possible for them. So the final tribe able to take a successful fight with both those black holes getting cancelled even.
So two violin bags used for secret now and it looks like they are very interested in taking a road but this is a huge risk. If they lose Nisha here, this could be the game. Yeah, and they have still, vision, they have the Winter's Curse that. as well as the Blink. Are they going to go for it? The Winter's Curse, it's on top of mid one, but they've Crimson Guard, it means they're not doing quite enough. And thanks to the Zero Blade, it doesn't matter, the mid one getting very low, but he's going to be fine, the Satanic, it doesn't matter. Mid one's dead, does have buybacks now. And is this going to be enough, Zai? He thinks about the Rolling Thunder, Nisha's still in the pit. Roshan is going down, and I don't think they're going to be able to contest this. So Nisha is able to get the Aegis, even though he doesn't have buyback. It sounds like the BKB, they have the jewel. It's over on the Pangolin, so as soon as that Rolling Thunder stops, Zai is going to go down. He has buyback himself, but they have lost the Sniper. Sniper forced to buy back. Mid one, they do have the install Sniper with which to travel. To able to get right back into this fight. And now mid one, he is invisible in the Shadow Blade. RP TP in. They're not going to find anyone on this side of the map. So no secret heroes have buybacks right now. Also, I'm having a look at buyback status, and the only one who doesn't have it is Puppy. So that's worth noting that every single core except for Puppy is able to get back into this game. And Puppy talking pin once again. They're actually TPing onto them. They get the draw to the table, but it's not going to be quite enough. Mid one, he's focusing on the front, but it looks like there's not enough damage. Nisha with the upper, are they going to turn stone? He has managed to kill Frost, and he's going to be able to kill the leading commander. They've lost Puppy, he does have no buyback, but they lose the sniper somewhere else. Sniper yep. getting focused out by Yapsor, I think, fingered. with the use of that refresher. Uh, bottom shrine is did he get attack. double fingered or just single fingered? I think it was just one, just e blade into finger and he died. Radiance top tower is under attack. Money changes. So Puppy the taking one for the team. Sibe really cannot duel anyone anymore. He just doesn't have the damage. This is the problem when you don't find kills on Legion. Like you hit for 500, but at this stage, in order to kill stuff, you need to hit for a thousand. Radiance bottom shrine is under attack. Yeah, it's, I mean. It's they bought back on both the Sniper and the Sven. I, I think it's time to secret. Once they have uh, buybacks online, they should look for an advantage. But they have managed to find Yapsor. They do pop his Aeon. This wasn't popped in last night. Popsy Ethereal Blade on himself, but he's probably going to go down. They even commit one black hole. They're showing how desperate they are to get these kills. Again, he is a hero with buybacks, but I think you might try and push off this. You need every advantage you could get. And Puppy. As we said before, doesn't have that buyback for a few seconds. Now it's back online and he certainly has the money for it. Looks like he's trying to go for a hex. A, a jewel over here on the side. And with Chessie on the back side, they do have enough damage. Secret overstepping their mark and feeding away two kills now. Right. Secret really needs to start being careful now. They have a really strong late game lineup, but they cannot give away kills like this. And at the oh, same uh, time, Zai just has a Millstone, not even a Mjolnir. Eh? What kind of set is he? Uh, Zai mean, uh, Zai definitely letting the side down, not enough farm on him. Frost, he is he running forward, Frost. he sees Money changes. But he's not going to commit forward for it and can't break the link. How like much? In that situation, yep, so I could have killed Frost, but he didn't want to because it was too big of a risk, his team being nearby. Oh, right. yeah, so he sees Chessy, but he goes for the Hex over here. He misses Chessy, they need a little bit more damage, and they kill him. The finger of death, he does get the refresh, the stun. Is he going to go down? They buy back on the Sniper, and yeah, so he is going to be able to get that. Chessy, he's back into the fight from the burst off the mid one. It is a fair amount, but they're going to lose the Sniper once again. These two back lines, they've lost the Sniper, no buyback on him. And they're focusing down from that three dead and no buyback on the Sniper. I think Secret might have finally blown this game wide open. Puppy, he has detection. Where is their champ? Zimei, he's gonna go for it. They have the vision. They have the control over here on Yapsul. Mid one with the silence. Is he able to purge off? They are able to kill him off. They need a tiny bit more damage, and they do. All the meanwhile, Nisha is focusing at the base. They buy back on four heroes. Secret, your 62k gold ahead. Are they gonna push? <laughs> so impressive by Yapsul. Dropping down to 100 HP, and instead of tipping back, he actually blinks in. And gets off a hex as well as a two-man earth spike. Nerves of steel on this man. I mean, he's responsible for killing this sniper the first time. They made they don't have the tech, and he uses the BKB tool. They managed to make it, they had no black hole. He hexed up this AoE hex. It's paying off Zibay. He's dead as well, and now it is a five versus three. So much damage, they have a buyback only on one, and I think they've done it. Secret, they're going for the throne. GG is cool, and the final tries are going to drop this game. 97 minutes in, Hanskin has a final black hole, but he's going down. Deekra, Trickle on the other one. Ultimately, even though this was super drawn out, it did go the way we expected. Just the uh, Prophet slowly pushing in lanes, taking over the map.
and TFT got impatient. Like, it was a stalemate until the moments they tried to get out of base.